Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got one quick video for you today, guys. Spurs Talk Show, Sean Butler here. How's everybody doing? Well, here's how I'm doing. I'm curious today about a future that is uncertain at Tottenham with regard Antonio Conte. The reason why is because once again, he has come out and alluded to an idea that, you know, if he's not backed, if they don't, the club don't match his ambition, then he will leave. And there's all this news that came out yesterday about whether or not there's a contract clause that in Antonio Conte's contract that allows clubs to essentially steal him in the summer without paying any compensation. And here's the problem for me is that it sounds like with the PSG rumours that if anyone's going to come in and get him, it would be PSG. And that would likely mean that the next guy to come in would be Pochettino. So park that concept for one moment and go back to how do we know if Conte is going to be at the club next season. Well, it depends on whether he's been quote unquote back and the ambitions matched, right? But for me, that's a, it's a weird, like unknown because that's a subjective thing. And the only way that's going to be proven is by the players that we sign early in the window. And if we get enough done, then Conte might be happy. If not, he won't. But best case scenario, Conte stays till the end of this season and next season, because that's when his contract finishes. Worst case scenario is he stays till the end of this season and then goes anyway. But the, the, the difference being whether or not he, the ambitions have been matched will only be determined after we've signed certain players. Certain players to fit his system in the gaps where he deems them to be necessarily filled. And what worries me, it's not so much about the forward players because most forward players can kind of fit into a bunch of different roles. A striker's gonna be a striker whether you're in a 4-4-2 or a 3-4-3 or a 4-2-3-1, whatever, right? A striker can generally adapt to a degree. But can you say the same about center backs and wing backs? You know, a right back versus a right wing back is not the same. A left back versus a left wing back are not the same. We know this because Doherty was signed as a right wing back, but then failed and struggled at Tottenham being asked to be played as a right back. Emerson was signed as a right back to play in the four. Nuno gets sacked. Conte goes to a, a 3-5 or 3-4-3. And Emerson struggles because he can't play right wing back. Ben Davies can't play... Um, in a back four as a centre back but can play on the left side of a centre back can't really play left wing back or can't play left wing back at all and struggles a little bit as a left back so there's definitely players in the back line of a, of a team that are role specific and what worries me is that the most of the positions we need to fulfil in the summer early are positions to improve on a back three system and if we do that, if we go and buy a 40 million quid on De Vrij to have a better left-sided centre-back of a back three, for example, and then Conte deems that the rest of the signings are not good enough, fucks off to, uh, to Paris Saint-Germain and, and, and Pochettino comes the other way, then is De Vrij going to fit into a four again? Probably not. So... I'm a little bit worried that whatever happens, whether Conte stays for the next three months, whether he stays for the next 15 months, you're going to be signing players for his system on four or five year contracts. And Conte has never been at a club for four or five years. So I'm worried that we could end up in the immediate short term, in the semi short term to medium term, but certainly in the long term, we're going to end up with more square pegs for round holes. And I'd love to know what your thoughts are. That is this rebuild of a rebuild of a rebuild. Are we going to be 25 years into a three-year rebuild once again, even if Daniel Levy does back Conte, because the next guy, the next cab off the rank managerially, probably won't like to play Conte's formation. And then we end up, we end up with the same problem as we have now. Certain horses for certain courses. 
and when you change the manager as often as we do and the formations that come with it then the players that long outlive the manager are not fit for purpose I don't know I hope this is not too negative for a talking point today let me know what your thoughts are as always like share and subscribe to the content and to the channel guys we're on the march to 700 and it's going very fast thank you all for your support love you all as always guys as always bye bye